In this problem, the provider has ordered Nipride 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute IV. The available concentration to you is 50 milligrams per 250 milliliters of D5W. The client weighs 182 pounds. How many milliliters per hour will you set your IV pump to administer 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute? You notice this problem is a little bit more complex than those that we've tackled so far. However, we're going to apply dimensional analysis just as we have before. The equation will just be a little bit longer and there'll be a few more conversion factors. But just as with any other dimensional analysis problem, we begin with our unit path. We're going to start by identify our, identifying our given quantity. In this problem, our given quantity is nipride. 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. You'll notice there's three factors to this quantity. Micrograms, kilograms, and minute. We're going to place 0.5 micrograms in the numerator at the beginning of the equation and kilograms per minute in the denominator. Next, we need to identify our wanted quantity. In this case, it's milliliters per hour, and we'll place this at the end of the equation. We now need to determine the conversion factors necessary to solve this problem, and there are quite a few. We'll start with the available concentration of nipride, which is 50 milligrams per 250 milliliters of D5W. I'm going to place it further along in the equation because there is another conversion factor we need to place. So 250 milliliters is 50 milligrams of nipride in our available concentration. We are wanting 0.5 micrograms as the given quantity, so we need to convert micrograms to milligrams. We know that for every one milligram, there is 1,000 micrograms. So we've taken care of our micrograms and our concentration, which comes in milligrams. Now we need to look at the other factors in the equation, kilograms and minutes. We're going to start next by tackling the minutes. We know that 60 minutes is equal to one hour and we are looking for hours in our wanted quantity. Next, we're going to tackle the kilograms. We know that our patient weighs 182 pounds, and we'll plug that into our equation. But we need to convert those pounds to kilograms. So we know that for every one kilogram, it is equal to 2.2 pounds. There are no further conversion factors necessary for this equation. We can now start by canceling out our unwanted units. We're going to start with our micrograms. Next we can cancel out our kilograms. We can also cancel out our pounds. We can cancel out our minutes. And we can cancel out our milligrams. So the factors that we're left with, the unit factors, are milliliters and hour which is exactly our wanted quantity, milliliters per hour. We can now go ahead and solve our equation as there's nothing left um, for conversion factors and nothing left to cancel out. If we multiply our numerators, 0 0.5 times 1 times 250 times 60 times 1 times 182, we end up with this number. And if we multiply our denominators, 1,000 by 50 by 2.2, we end up with 110,000. Now these large numbers, um, when it divided, equal 12.4. This is our wanted quantity, 12.4 milliliters per hour. And this is the solution to our problem. Nipride, 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute in an available concentration of 50 milligrams per 250 milliliters of D5W on a client who is 182 pounds equals 12.4 milliliters per hour.
and we have solved our problem.